The city of Prince George has a strong connection to and economic reliance on the natural environment. One major recent change in northern and central BC has been the mountain pine beetle outbreak, which peaked in 2005 and can be partially attributed to the warmer winter temperatures experienced in these regions. The mountain pine beetle has had negative impacts on the Prince George community and the local forestry industry. City staff have also noticed other impacts related to the warmer winter temperatures. Not only did we see changes in the impacts on transportation infrastructure, we began to look broader at the data and ask different questions. And at the same time, we were seeing pine beetle uh, infestations uh, starting just south and west of Prince George, but clearly impacting Prince George. And then we began to see changes in our local rivers and the incidence of flooding on our local rivers. This got the city thinking about climate change and how, as a community, they can prepare for these changes. So they partnered with UMBC to study climate change adaptation. There are two main ways you can respond to climate change. One is through mitigation, which is probably what you've heard about more, which is reducing greenhouse gas emissions or planting new forests that can sequester or absorb those uh, greenhouse gases. But adaptation is thinking ahead to the changes that are going to happen and, uh, and planning for them in advance. So for example, the city of Prince George has seen a lot of uh, changes with the mountain pine beetle. So adaptation might be adjusting forest practices or uh, replanting different species of trees to, uh, to adjust to the changes that are happening. When studying the climate, it is first important to distinguish between weather, climate variability, and climate change. Weather can be defined as the activity of factors such as temperature, precipitation, and wind at a specific location over time periods from hours to weeks. Climate variability is the properties of weather over time scales from months to years. With climate change, we are looking at the average conditions, the range of conditions, trends, or the number of extreme events over long periods of time, typically at least 30 years. These figures show historical trends in Prince George from 1918 to 2006. Daily maximum temperatures rose less than daily minimum temperatures during this time. An average daily mean temperature rose by 1.3 degrees Celsius. Precipitation trends also increased during this time, with more precipitation arriving as rain rather than snow. In terms of looking into the future, we used a set of 140 different global climate model projections, as shown in this box plot for the area surrounding Prince George. The boxes show the change projected by half of the future projections. Temperature is projected to increase throughout the 21st century with a range of 1.6 to 2.5 degrees Celsius warming by the 2050s compared to the 1961 to 1990 baseline. The results of many workshops and exercises were compiled to create a list of adaptation priorities for Prince George. Not surprisingly, forests are the highest priority with flooding, transportation infrastructure, severe weather and water supply also ranking as high priorities for the community. PKIC's research and the process of understanding priorities for adaptation in Prince George resulted in many different partnerships being formed and led to many more unlikely partnerships. With funding support from Natural Resources Canada through the Regional Adaptation Collaborative Project, Prince George was able to continue on with this climate change adaptation process, putting climate change adaptation into action. One of the first steps was when the city worked with researchers to incorporate adaptation into the city's Integrated Community Sustainability Plan. The final ICSP, entitled MyPG, mentions adaptation in many parts of the document as a necessary step for community sustainability. With the funding received from the Regional Adaptation Collaboration, the city selected a few of the top priority areas to investigate how much climate change would affect city infrastructure and operations. Ongoing work in our natural forests includes management activities to reduce the risk of wildfire from the widespread tree mortality caused by the mountain pine beetle. In preparing our new floodplain mapping and bylaw update, the city considered the impact of increasing the freeboard from 0.6 to 1.0 meter above the predicted flood level to allow for the uncertainty of future river flood levels that may be caused by climate change. Being situated in the north, Prince George experiences freezing conditions. We found that annual freeze-thaw cycles have actually decreased over the last few decades. This is because there are fewer days where the temperature drops below zero in the fall and springtime. Further investigation revealed that freezing and thawing episodes are increasing in December, January and February as we thought. As we expect these conditions to increase in the future, we are working now with 
transportation experts to investigate how climate change is impacting our transportation infrastructure, road safety, and winter maintenance. We have also mapped out how climate change may impact our natural areas around Prince George and how this may affect management and planning of these natural areas. Climate change may also impact hazardous slopes, thus altering our management and designation of these hazardous areas within our city, increasing community safety and development. This work enables the city to be ready for expected and unexpected changes. Adapting to climate change will help citizens maintain their high quality of life.